Hey guys, Ben with KCT here, and we're going to go ahead and take a look today at the UTG Vertical Grip MLX style. So we'll go ahead and take a look at what it is, what it isn't, how big it is, how big it isn't, what it weighs, what it doesn't weigh, and what it does stacked up to the competition. And we'll see if this is right for you. So a little bit of uh, kind of heads up on this. I still believe that this is one of the overseas parts that they make. I don't think that this is a U.S. made part. Um, so if you're familiar with that, correct me on that. Oh, but it is polymer, so it is a polymer grip. Um, basically just plastic interior, and then the exterior has a small rubber wrap. I know it is. Um, it goes all the way around, and so all the grippy bits are sort of rubber texturized. Now, I've painted it, so of course it has no more grip. Um, so there's that. So let's go ahead and take a look here. With the UTG grip, you can see there that it does take up just the one m -lock space which is really nice that it doesn't spill into other spaces so you can have accessories that would mount right up to you there. Um, and when you put that on there, it doesn't like wiggle and like slide, like you have the exact dimensions of that m -lock, um, to go ahead and um, line up there. So what we'll do is we'll take it off and we'll take a look at it. Let's take a look at the rose gallery of grips here so here we have the sig uh, grip that comes with the tread grip kit um this is also hollow this does take up quite a bit more room as you can see it's like one and a half of the mlock spaces which i really don't like um i feel that these should all be basically one space and there's not really a need to go too much further because now you can't mount all the accessories maybe the way that you want them um, obviously you see that here's the utg and the very popular BCM grip there with the canted angle and then the Magpul old school um, RVG. So I know that it doesn't have the M lock, but hey guys, come on, that's what we're working with here. So these are all hollow. So there's nothing, they don't have like a bottom plate or anything like that. And so as far as this goes, you can see that these two and right about the same height, but look at the different footprint in terms of how big. They are so this again is like another half even though the the m lock bits are contained in one piece uh one section the grip is like one and a half sections uh the magpul for the same thing you're gonna have to bump out that rail first and then do that so and then on to the sig and yeah it's like one and a half for the biggest offender right there so um i really like the fact that it does go and only take one space the one thing i didn't like is that the mounting bolts for it needed to be replaced immediately and they give you an allen wrench for it which is really nice but the <laughs> mounting bolts were this long and they basically stopped there so completely unsuitable for mounting this grip uh, only the tip came out and so you were not able to actually get the nuts on the tip uh, and actually get that going so um, for me it wasn't a big problem because I would say I've got MLOC stuff all over the place for a newer shooter who might pick this up and admittedly UTG does not necessarily market themselves to the Chris Costas of the world so you probably would be a newer shooter if you picked one of these up perhaps um, they might be a little bit upset that they can't mount that right away and they have to go get another set of screws so something to think about these are just junk basically just use them on whatever else but they do not fit this in any appreciable way you want to go ahead and get your own screws put about there so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and throw these on the magical, wonderful drug dealer scale. And that, drug dealer. So that will go ahead and let us see how heavy these things are in comparison. I won't weigh them out. I'll just give you guys the raw numbers because short attention span theater and we will move on to the final thoughts. Okay, the drug dealer scale hath spoken. First person to say plug is going to get shot. All right, so anyways, <laughs> let's take a look here. So the UTG came out at 1.661 ounces. The Magpul, Chonky Boy, 2.553 ounces. Bravo, 1.689 ounces. So barely heavier than the uh, UTG there. And the SIG, a mirror. 1.224 ounces so very very lightweight despite the fact that it is much larger in profile than all the other grips so obviously the magpul is going to be a lot heavier you got more locking stuff you've actually got the rail 
protection piece. So the more adequate way would have been to weigh the um, the mag magpole <laughs> like vertical grip, but I didn't have one handy, so it's okay. So what do I think overall? Um, it's $18. It's not bad at all. Um, I will be probably putting some grip tape on there and uh, using that because um, I'm without all the grippiness from my awesome paint job, which you never see is wearing away, but we'll have that UTG logo there. But um, yeah, it is. It's, what's interesting too is that they do say that oh, it's got different textures, which I didn't really think about, and I mounted it this way, and I really didn't like these te these lines here breaking up the grip. Mounted it this way, and the way that I hold the grip, oh, it feels great. It's gonna feel even better when I uh, throw that uh, like skater tape on there. But I dig it, guys. I didn't think I would. I bought it just to see what I would do and <laughs> what we we guys would think about it. But I really, really like it um, for what it is. Again, I mean, you're getting almost the same weight as like the Bravo, um, but you're also not using up any new, anywhere near that same space. And obviously the SIG, which is just very, very basic, um, but it uses up so much more space. It's ridiculous. And the Magpul, I mean, it's awesome, but it's really long, really chunky, and also, I mean, quite a bit heavier than the other ones. So um, yeah, I do like it. Um, it goes very well on my lightweight build. It flows very well with the lines. So I would say this, it, again, it's $18. It's very, very lightweight, um, seems to be pretty sturdy so far. And if you're looking for a vertical grip and you don't mind the fact that it's UTG, I would actually recommend this. This is something that I will be running for a while and uh, more of a long-term test. But you can see they, they actually put in some decent thought to it. Like there's um, like sort of a scallop here for this when it catches the, um, the rails and stuff. And they actually said this is meant to be able to be mounted, I think on a six or eight sided uh, M lock. So it's definitely not just like, you know, for your, your standard four side, which of course, I, probably what it's going to be on but um they actually did put some thought into that some research so it is kind of interesting to see that, that they are coming out with new designs versus what we have in the past but yeah i mean right now i don't see any reason that you wouldn't want it um again it takes up one slot which is awesome that's probably my favorite thing because they do tend to have like finger stops and things like that elsewhere on the uh, the rifle so it's nice that i don't have to go fight for real estate on my gun so that is pretty much it guys like share comment and subscribe tell everybody about us oh and they do give you the honor ranch to go ahead and install this but unfortunately it's for the wrong size bolts because the real ones you're gonna put in there probably won't work with this but of that small small problem you guys have a great rest of your day thanks for checking us out uh again like share comment and subscribe do all these things something something algorithm and yeah all that good stuff guys love you have a great rest of your day See you.